This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am going to be doing your weekly reading for October 9th to October 15th. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled these three decks for you, so I'm just going to shuffle them a little bit more. Uh, keep in mind that this may or may not resonate for all of you because it is for hundreds and thousands of people and I can't read everybody. Bits may uh, resonate on this side, not that side, so take that into consideration. Um, I have uh, created a group, um, Spiritual Guidance Live Feeds on Facebook, where I will be offering mini live feeds, and I have engaged some other readers as well, other healers and spiritual people, to come in and, and offer their services, and you might get something from them as well. So if you are a reader, feel free, or a healer in any way, to join. The link will be below. Or if you're just looking for guidance. I was asking my spirits and guides about you guys a minute ago, and what was going on for Leo. And I heard happiness. Look what, and I was talking about it before this card came up, and this is wish fulfillment. Isn't that funny? I heard happiness, and I heard partnerships, or I saw partnerships on my wall, so that my eyes brought me right to it. So um, I think that is a it that this week there's happiness. Okay, and this is wish fulfillment, and that is the basis of your reading. So <laughs> wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this is zoomed in correctly. Oh my goodness, that looks really good. I mean, it really, I think it's going to be a good week because I had such positive vibes. I think that's pretty good. Basis of your reading is the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment and happiness, okay? So I think that a lot of you are feeling very satisfied this week. I think if you've been going through some depression or despair or you've been disappointed or something, it may be, that thought may be gone now, okay? I think that it was holding you back, and if it isn't gone, it should be ending soon. Any negative thoughts that you are having about a situation, it looks like it will be um, dissolving, okay? Because I think that you guys are thinking very, very positive this week. I think it's a positive, it looks like a very positive week. I think that you guys are... Um, it's successful and I think a lot of it is successful in a relationship now this could pertain to work but I'm not sure if it does you will know um, we do have the ace of pentacles right next to the magician they're both ones okay that's an instant manifestation ones one 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 your thoughts become things and I truly see that many of you have changed your perception or your the way that you um, What's the word for it? Deal with things, put it that way. The way that you think, instead of feeling negative, I think you've tried to, to think more positive about situations. Um, I do see harmony. I see peace. Um, I see perseverance, okay? I think you've been through a lot regarding a situation and that finally things are starting to come to fruition in your favor. I think it looks like a very peaceful, happy, loving week where there's not a whole lot of stress. Um, there's happiness, definitely. We have the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Cups, I mean the Ace of Pentacles. Um, that's, that can be, that's a, something uh, secure, stable, abundant, and it's a gift from above, okay? And it's very successful. I mean, there's a lot of success here, a lot. You guys have done this yourself. This, I mean, we have a lot of manifestation. I think you guys have really been um, replacing negative with positive. Um, we do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Gemini again. Um, holy moly, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, Son of a gun, this is for Leo. You have, like, you have a bunch of people, okay? You have a bunch of people here that could be, you know, playing a part in, in your life this week. We have Tor Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? All of these people 
could be part of your life in a very big way this week. All right, so just try to figure out who those are. I think that one of them you may be leaving behind or they may be leaving you behind or you could be leaving a thought about them behind, something that has been holding you back because we have the Two of Swords and the Eight of Cups. You know, I think that you maybe there was something that was taking up space in your head or taking up space so much that it was causing delays in your life and perhaps you're letting that go. Could be regarding a person and they could be thoughts or they they could be feelings for a person. You could just be like, you know what, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm going to release these thoughts and I'm going to think positive or I'm not going to think about it at all. I do see that um, you're being very kind, caring, loving, motherly. Um, and this is for a man or a woman, okay? So you're being very generous this week in love. I just think it's a very beautiful week and you're letting go of negative thoughts and replacing them with positive ones. That's what I see. If you are single, you may you could meet somebody that is one of these signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, all right? In, because we have this unexpected uh, choice in love, okay, or it's an unexpected love. Either way, we have the lover's card. Again, it's about harmony and love. This week is about harmony and love and happiness and a coming together, a joining together that is very peaceful, okay? Um, the unnecessary, unnecessary drama, okay? This is also, I mean, a feeling like many of you might be feeling like, or you had been feeling or you are. So there's this can often be a sneaky card, somebody who's sneaky or uh, deceiving you. You may feel like they're deceiving you. You may feel like they're sneaking around. You may feel like they're cheating. Okay, but that's like a false. It's a false thought because we have the two of swords. It's like a pretending. All right, or you could be, or it really could be happening. Um, and you're ignoring the situation because it can be going, it could be going both ways. Um, but I don't think that's the case because we have, um, the 10 of, of cups right here. This is happiness. So I think it's a thought and swords are thoughts. Okay. We have the seven of swords and the two of swords. Many people will say this is cheating. Okay. And I have said that before in my past, but you know, I've come a long way and now I really listen more. I listen more. A long time ago, somebody told me to just to pay attention to the cards. No, uh, uh, okay. That's not the story. So the thing is, is, um, this is about a lot of you having negative thoughts and overcoming them with positive and letting go of them. Okay. That's what I see. And, I, and it's a need to celebrate. You may think that somebody is sneaking around. That's what I think that you think. Okay. But I think you are letting that go, that thought. Okay. Because the foundation is building. I see that, you know, things are really starting to happen. Um, There's no more pretending here. There's no more pretending. There's an ending of a situation. And it brings a lot of peace and harmony to your life. Okay? It does. And it brings you a lot of satisfaction. Whatever this ending is. Alright? Somebody could be leaving. I mean, you could be leaving a situation. Or somebody... I mean, you could be. You could be leaving a situation. And it brings you a lot of peace and harmony. But you could be leaving a situation that's in your head. Because we have these swords. Okay? The Ten of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Two of Swords, those are in your head. Thoughts. And this could be you walking away from the ne negative thoughts. And it brings a lot of peace and harmony to your life. And happiness. And satisfaction. And reward. No, oh, and here you are, and the card fell out on the floor. Strength, of course it did. This is it. This is you. Okay? This is you. This is saying that your strength, your confidence, your willpower, your inner beauty has manifested this. And it hasn't been easy. You've been working on it right along. We have this nine of wands here. You really had to go through a lot to get to this place where you are right now. <laughs> Beautiful. Transformation. A lot of you are transforming. You're awakening. You are definitely looking at things from a brand new perspective. I think a lot of you are just 
starting a new chapter of your life and you're embracing it, okay? And it does re it does regard love. Somebody that probably you are soulfully connected to, okay? It is it is, does regard love, but you manifested it. This week, I think you're very happy and I think there's a, a beautiful union between you and another. If you're single, you could meet somebody, all right? Because we have a lot of love here. And we have a newness, okay? When the death comes up, it means something is ending, okay? You're leaving something behind. And I think it's I think it's in your head. Here you are again because, you know, they wanted to make sure that you understood that this was for you. Um, these are your inner conflicts. And it is. And, you're, and this is the letting go. Leaving it behind. You're leaving behind the conflicts because you're ready for happiness maybe with somebody else could be another leo aries or sagittarius but i'm thinking this is you i think that you have refocused okay you have just started a new plan it's like you know what i'm, I'm gonna do this and you and i'm on my way you've come into your own that's what i see and i think that you are being very creative in your ways of redirecting your negative thoughts and it's taken a lot of strength, confidence, courage, willpower, discipline. You know, and I think that you have really dug deep. Now I'm going to get three of these. Ooh, the lovers again. We already talked about that. The seven of swords again. Double energies. And the fool. Okay. So the lovers, we already talked about that. Intimate relationships. Okay. Beautiful. That's where this all stems from. It's right over you. It's another six. It's about getting your life back on track. I think that's what you've been working on. That's what you've been focusing on. It hasn't been easy, but you've done it. All right. And it leads to love. The ultimate union between you and another person. All right. This is also a Gemini, but it can be any other sign because we have every single sign here. Seven of Swords. This is the plans that need revision. doesn't say anything about cheating on this card, but many people come to believe that the Seven of, court, uh, of Swords means cheating. It can. It can if there's a bunch of other cheating cards around it, but I don't see that. This is a thought. It's a thought. Plans that need revision. All right? That's what it is. And that's what you've been doing, the dreamer. This is the starting over, and it's right over the death card. There's no doubt about it that many of you have decided to start anew, okay? Taking a leap of faith, okay? Following your dreams. All of a sudden, having these unexpected joys and happiness and love and union, all right? This is all very unexpected, but it brings a lot of happiness. That's what I have, Leo. Thanks for your patience. Talk to you later.